Take a look at this photograph. What do you think? There are plenty of things I could tell you about it. I, I could tell you that it's called Untitled 96, uh, that it's a self-portrait of a young photographer named Cindy Sherman. To most people though, the single most interesting thing about this photograph is going to be that in May of 2011, it sold for almost $4 million at auction. Fast forward to November of that same year in this photograph, Ryan 2 by Andreas Gursky sold for $4.3 million. That record would stand until 2014 when this photo by famous photographer and self-promoter Peter Lick sold for an astounding $6.5 million. Or did it? The authenticity of that sale, which probably was nothing more than a clever marketing scheme, has been called into question, and I find it pretty easy to look down my nose and to laugh at the notion that this photo is worth millions of dollars. But when you think about it, is any photograph worth that much? If so, how can we possibly go about quantifying that? In this world of photographic oversaturation, how much is a photograph worth? Let's talk about it. So right off the bat, I know the easy answer here is that art is subjective. Anything is worth what someone will pay for it. Still, we've never been surrounded by photographs the way we are now, and if I know anything about economics, and I don't, I know that as supply rises, demand goes down. But even as it's gotten harder to build a successful career as a photographer, it's still possible. It might take more skill and a little bit more luck, but people still hire wedding photographers and buy portraits and landscapes. I truly believe that there are pictures being taken now that will one day eclipse those previous dollar marks, but what they'll be and why they'll be worth the money is anyone's guess. What is a photograph worth? I find myself struggling with this question more and more. I'd love to pursue photography or writing or really any sort of art as a career, but the proliferation of technology and the overabundance of free content makes that sort of a pipe dream. It's really kind of heartbreaking. We're surrounded by more quality work than at any time in history, but it's harder than it's ever been to get paid for it. I get it. Everything is disposable and everyone hates a paywall. This is my favorite photograph. It's by Sally Mann, a complicated artist with a complicated and sometimes unfortunate career. And if I were a rich, auction-going plutocrat, it's the sort of thing I would love to own. But would it be worth millions? I've thought about this, and to me, probably not. And this brings us back to the photograph of Cindy Sherman. I, I didn't start with this one by accident. It's not because it's her best photograph or even particularly indicative of the rest of her work. It's not even because she went to the same school I did. I mean, maybe it's a little bit that. You know, buff stay, ooh. I started here because the record-breaking price of this photo derived mostly from a bidding war at Christie's between two rich people. For a selfie. Somebody won and somebody lost. So how much is a photograph worth? I guess that's one way to answer the question. It's not a very satisfying answer, is it? In a perfect world, we wouldn't measure the quality of photographs in dollars and cents. I don't remember what I spent on my tickets to, uh, I don't know, Moonrise Kingdom. But I remember how it made me feel. I think that's the most important thing, and in all honesty, if you're pursuing art to get paid, not only are you barking up the wrong tree most likely, you're in it for the wrong reasons. So how much is a photograph worth? How do we even go about determining that? Is it its price at auction? Is it the number of people who've seen it? Is it whether or not it finds its way into school books? Or is it something more subjective, more personal? For me, the most valuable photos I've ever taken weren't at weddings or paid portrait gigs. They weren't photos that I made money from at all. They were photographs of things that mattered to me at times that felt important. The photographs that I can look back at and transport myself to a different emotional state, a different time in my life. They're photographs that mean something to me on a visceral level. I don't know if that answers the question or if there's really an answer to it at all, but it feels a little bit better to me than two rich people fighting over country club bragging rights. 
As always, thank you so much for watching.